Uh, I do remember our little uh, sister uh, Jessica and her family, Porky, Brother Porky and their family. I don't, uh, let's just continue to remember them. Uh, but yeah, we just, we're, th- we're just thankful, man. I'm, we are blessed and we just, uh, I just want to mind the Lord this evening. And as I was praying for this service over these past couple of weeks, uh, man, I t- it just continues to get, uh, I passed that book, there we are. Uh, the battle that we're in just continues to get stronger. If you, you want to say, some people say it gets hotter, however you want to say it. Uh, the battle for souls, the battle for lost souls, the battle for brothers and sisters, uh, the battle for our children, uh, the battle for uh, the country, uh, if you want to if you want to say that. However you want to say it, the battle that we are in, we are in a battle, no doubt about it, but we got to know who we are in a battle with. We are not in a battle with each other. We are not in a battle with the man down the street. We are not in a battle with the, they want Democrats, Republicans. We're not in a battle with each other. We're not in a battle with a brother with a different color skin. But we are in a battle with the with the darkness, man. We are in a battle with the the powers and principalities. We got to realize who we are fighting against. We got to realize who 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 is our adversary. Who 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 is this? Who who is this? And I know that we we have understanding, but it's like sometimes we forget. Sometimes we forget. It's because that little, that little liar, that little snake, that little however you want to, whatever you want to call him, that little serpent, that little devil, that little Satan. He's so subtle. He's so sneaky. He, he. You might be holding his hand and don't even realize it. Hey man, and then you, he, and then what you know, or he, he slips into somebody. It always seems like he slips into somebody that's closer to you. He wants to hurt you through that avenue. He wants to. He wants to slip into maybe your, your husband or your wife or maybe your child, maybe your son or your daughter or your mother or your father. He kind of slips in and tries to use them as a vessel and tries to use them to really hurt you, to, to kind of knock you down, to keep you down, to hold you down. But we got to realize who we're fighting. But then we can't forget who's fighting for us. Amen. We can't forget who's fighting for us. Amen. We, we have the victory for what he done on the cross. I mean, we get the victory because of the blood that we just sung about here. Nothing but the blood. I mean, that's why I have victory. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm saved. I'm, I'm bought again. I mean, by, by, the, by the precious blood of Jesus. I mean, we have new life. But let's recognize the enemy. And with the Lord, I, 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 need, I need his help tonight to get this across. I know, I know it's in here, but I want it to come out of here and come to you. I mean, he gets, I get all these thoughts coming, and I try to, I'm still learning how to, how to get them all in order. I can't do it without him, though. I need him. And I, I want to just get out the way and just allow him to just use me and to speak to somebody, because I know that this has kind of opened my eyes a little, a, little bit, a little bit more, a little bit further, I guess, a little bit more understanding of who we're fighting and how we fight him, you know. Yeah, somebody said, I think it might have been, it might have been you. Somebody said this morning, I don't know if it was you, sis, or somebody else. Maybe it was Sister Wendy that said that our, our, our weapon is prayer. That's one of them. Yeah, we do, we, we got to realize what we got to use. Prayer is, that is, that is a weapon. Because we got the Father that's going to fight for us. We got the Son that's going to fight for us. We, we, they're going to fight. But praise. You know, and then each other. I mean, we're, we're in this together. We're not, we're not, you know, we, we are, we're all in this together. But with, with the Lord's help here, we, I want to look, uh, look, look into this a little bit. I'm going to be going from different scriptures to different scriptures. And, uh, but I'm going to start off here in Zechariah 3. That's where I'm going to start here. And like I said, I'll be going from different books to different scriptures, different but I just, uh, and uh, Lord, help me get this out. What's up, Jacoby? Hmm? Yeah, got your four-wheel drive truck. All right. <laughs> Man. Uh, in Zechariah chapter 3 here, 
He says, and he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem. Rebuke thee, is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? And it says, Now Joshua was clothed with filthy, filthy garments and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with a change of raiment. Hey Amen. Little Dave loves that song. I took off the old coat and put on the new. Hey Amen. And that's what that's what's happening here. Hey Amen. The devil is standing at his at his side and, and accusing, him, resisting, speaking those little lies. And he's he's standing right there. And he, and the Lord and the Lord says, he says, it's under Satan. He said, I rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem. You know that you're chosen too, right? We are chosen. We are adopted into the family by the blood of Christ. We are chosen. Amen. We are chosen. So this, so this applies for you and I too. The, the, the Lord rebuke thee. For he has chosen Jerusalem and is not this a brand that's plucked out of the fire. And I looked, I looked into that because that one that's kind of stood out to me. And it said there that the brand is like a piece of wood that was half charred, half burnt. And then, you know, that was you and I, whenever we was walking in this world, we were, as the old saying goes, one foot in the fire. We were right there. We were, we were, we just didn't realize it until our eyes were open, but we were right there. He plucked you and I out of the fire. Hey man, he, we are the, you and I are a brand. You, we were a brand. He plucked us right out the fire. He plucked us right out, of, right out of the devil's hand. So why do we return? Or why do we, why, why do we, why, and you know, it's not just you and I. The Israel did the same, you know, it, but, but we return. We return right, the dog returns to the vomit. The hog, Jeremy said this morning, the hog right to the slop. The, the hog pen alive. We return. And then, and then we we begin to fight again with, I mean, I, that is just really what, what's getting, getting me right here is I'm tired of seeing the devil, man, trying to destroy houses, trying to destroy homes, trying to destroy families. Hey, man, I'm tired of the devil attacking my brothers and sisters. Hey, man, and trying to divide the homes, the husband against the wife, the children against the mother. I'm tired of the devil coming in and trying to take place that's not his. It's not his to take. I mean, he ain't the one that gave us the hope. He ain't the one that gave us the joy. He ain't the one that gave me my peace. So he can't take it. But in John 10, 10, it said that the thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. Hey Amen. He come to steal your hope. He come to kill your hope. He come to destroy your hope. He come to steal your joy. Kill your joy. Destroy your joy. He come to steal your peace, kill it, destroy it. Realize who that devil is and what he's trying to do. Hey Amen. It's not, it's like our little minds can't comprehend it because we've been brainwashed uh, from, from, from all the stuff on TV and the radio, how they want to glorify the devil. And I don't know if you noticed the billboard down the road, but they want to glorify it. They want to make him look like he's some kind of fun, happy, cool little dude that's going to have a party with you. I mean, that's not the devil. I mean, that's not who he is. He's come to steal you. He's come to kill you. He's come to destroy you. As Jeremy said this morning, that hell is not, it wasn't prepared for you and I. It's prepared for him and the angels. But he wants to take whoever he can take with him. I mean, and I can't remember the verse in, in John, but it said that he was a murderer from the beginning. I mean, and that one, you know, I, I, was, I was thinking, you know, that's so why I, I was talking to Carly, and I was like, you know, I always thought that he was talking about when Cain slew Abel, but it was a murderer from the beginning. He, he, seduced, he, he spoke so subtle to Eve and, and, and Adam, and thou shalt not surely die. Thou shalt not surely die if you eat of the fruit. And what did what, what they do? They ate the fruit. Then death passed upon all men. You know, and, and, but he, he's a liar and the father of it. We got to realize who we're fighting. And we got to realize what he's come, come to do. And I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing him get into the homes, get into the places, 
and, and, and dividing and conquering. Because that's, that's the only way he can win. And that's his weapons of warfare is the lies, the deceit. That's all he's got. But he's been perfecting it. He, he's been doing a good job of it from the beginning. Has he not? But we got to realize who, who, we, who we fighting. You know, and like I said, it's, it's not how Hollywood portrays him and how that, that he's, he's looked like it's, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be, it's gonna live how you want to live, be who you want to be, do what you want to do, and, and you'll be, that's not the way it is. It's not the way it is. It's, and, uh, you, you know, uh, I said there Wednesday night, if you was here Wednesday night, it, it, was, it, was, it was a good message. Feel, the Lord bless Phil to preach. Put yourself in. Put yourself in. in the, to put yourself in the Word. To, put, to be in it. But put yourself in it. And you know, and I, and I was saying, and I was saying, you know, that, that, like I said, I got all these little thoughts coming. And that, that we serve a God that doesn't change. He doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. Amen. He does not change. But he is the author of change in, in you and me. He's the one. He is the true change. He's the only change that, that I've ever met. That, that, that yeah, it's di it's different. It's because it, it's we're we're in the world, but we're not of it. We we are here, but we we're not we're not part of what the, what's got what they what they got going on. And and uh, and the, the, the I said like you know there's 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 one place that's that. That God's not going to change, and and that's where you know I said in, in Luke chapter sixteen it, it talks about the rich man, how he was looking for that drop of water from Lazarus' finger, and you know it, still to this day he's still looking for that drop of water. He has that's not going to change. That's not going to change. And the only the, the only thing that's going to change there is that hell's going to get emptied out into the lake of fire. That, that, that's the only change that's going to happen there. But that's the scary thought, that if you end there, that's it. I mean, there, 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 there's, no, there's no help there. And our minds cannot grasp, our minds can't grasp how beautiful heaven's going to be. As Jeremy was saying this morning, you know, that, that, that all the stuff that's there, we, we can't grasp that. But on the same hand, we can't grasp how horrible hell is going to be. How terrible hell is going to be. How much pain and suffering is going to be in hell. We cannot grasp that. We cannot understand that. But it's not going to be a good thing. It's not going to be a party. It's not going to be all for one and one for all. No, there's going to be wailing, gnashing of teeth. And torment day and night. Without, without it, for eternity. Like I said, that man's still looking for a drop of water. His tongue's still burning. He's still screaming. He's still squalling. But we, we can't grasp that. We can't. We can't grasp that. But it, it, John, John chapter 8, uh, verse 39, Jesus is talking here. I think, it, yeah, it's where I was wanting to start is 39. He said, they, they, they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father, Jesus saith unto them, If ye were of Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. He says, Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We, we, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, were, if, God, if God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceed forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my words. Ye are of your father the devil. The lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and above not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you conceiveth, conceiveth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? 
He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not, say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast the devil. And Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never die. he shall never see death. Amen. Amen. He's, he's saying that ye are ye are the father of the devil. He said, because if you were of God, let's go back. He said, because but now ye seek to kill me. Yeah, man, you got to realize, but Jesus knew what he, I mean, of course he knew who he was fighting. Of course he knew, but we got to realize who we are fighting. We got to realize who is seeking to kill, steal, kill, and destroy everything that we have. Our hope, our peace, our joy, ultimately our soul. We got to realize who we are fighting. We got to realize who is standing in opposition and, 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 and to, and, and how to, how, how to battle him, how to, how to use our prayer life, how to use the sword, how to use praise, how to, how to help one another. If you see a brother and sister struggling, let's help one another. Let's not kick them while they're down. Let's not continue to pour the, the, the discord or however you want to say it, the, the, the harm on top of the brother and sister. We, they already got enough. We need to show them love. I'm not saying accept the way that they're living if they're living in sin. I'm not saying that. But we, we, we help them realize what they're fighting and what they're, and how to fight their battle. But we, we got, you know, we, we're all in this together. We are. We're all in it together. And, you know, there's, there's, one, there's one way, one truth. Jesus Christ. And, 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 and we know that. But it's, it's like I said, it's like we forget who we're fighting and we don't need to forget who, the, who, that, who that devil is. We remember who, our, who the enemy is. If you're a friend of the world, he said, you're none of mine. Amen. But we, we are in the world, but we're not of it. Set apart. Amen. That's, that's what we are. We're set apart. And, you know, I, I just love y'all. I don't know if Brock's got a little something maybe he could add to it or or if Rob or one of these other guys got got something they could add, but uh, I said I wanted to mind the Lord, and it, and when the Lord says that's that's it, that, that's it. I mean, I, I can't do nothing with, without him. I'm without him, but with with him, I could do all things. Amen. So uh, I hope I hope y'all got a little something out of it. Uh, I hope y'all. Get, got, 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 got something. Dropped a little nugget in there. Uh, but if, if those who can stand, you know, if y'all can stand, stand, please. And uh, somebody want to get a song, that way we can give you an opportunity to come pray. Uh, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're going through one of these battles and you need prayer. But if you're not, and you know someone that is, I know we all know someone that is going through a battle similar to this, then let's lift them up. Let's lift them up to God Almighty. Let's lift them up. Amen. And, 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 let's, let's, let's allow God to move on them. Let's allow God to do the work. But we, we can lift them up to them, though. We know, I know we know somebody going through a struggle, going through a battle. Amen. We can lift them up in prayer. And, but, it, but if you're one that's going through it, now's the time to bring it to him. Now's the time to come. Amen. Now's the time. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. It gets said a lot in here, but it's true. Today's the day. Not tomorrow. Today. Today's the day. And we don't want to see nobody struggle. Amen. We don't want to see nobody lift their eyes in hell. Amen. God don't. That's why he sent Jesus to die on the cross. Amen. Because he didn't want to see none of, none, none of us lift our eyes in hell. And it's not God sending you. I mean, you could dim yourself. Hey, man, if, if you don't, if you don't believe, and just, just come. Hey, man, just come. That's all. That's all we're asking tonight. I don't know the hearts that are here, but God does. And if He's drawing you to come pray, then come pray. Hey, man, and maybe, 
Like I said, maybe it's not you, but maybe you know somebody that's going through the struggle, that's going through a battle. And you're like me and you're tired. You're tired of seeing them. Tired of seeing them struggle. Tired. I'm tired of seeing the devil just run ruckshot over my family and my friends. I'm tired of seeing the devil just do whatever he wants to my family and friends. A devil, get your hands off my brothers and sisters. Hey man, they're not yours. Hey man, we are, we are children of God. Hey man, and we got to remember who's, who does our fighting. Remember who does our fighting. Remember who's fighting for us. I mean, if God be for us, who can stand against us? Nobody. Nobody. But when we believe the lies, when we start believing the lies that he wants to throw out, and I thought, he, he plants those seeds too, but let God, let God pull them up. I mean, let God pull them up. Hey Amen. I can't save nobody. Couldn't even save myself. But thanks Thanks be to God for the prayers of the ones that were praying for me. Amen. Until I come to that place to where my eyes were open and my heart was broken and I knelt down and prayed and accept, asked Christ into my heart, asked him to forgive me, and I got up a new man. I got up full of life. I got up knowing what life was. Amen. Before then, I didn't know what life was. Only what the world told me what life was. And you can't find it in a bottle like they think. They can't create it like they think. They think they can create life. It's artificial. That's a lie. Artificial life ain't no life. Amen. God is the creator. God is the one that's in control. He's the one that's got us all in his hands. Man, he's got us all. Amen. Trust him. And realize who you're fighting. Amen. Realize who we're fighting. Amen. You ain't arguing with your wife. You arguing with what's behind it. Amen. What you know? Do you not arguing with the husband? You're arguing with what's behind it. You're not arguing with a son or a daughter. You're arguing with something that's behind it. Amen. That's that's who we're that's who we're fighting. That's who we're fighting. Let's not forget who we're fighting. Let's not forget who the battle is with. Amen. Because we done won. We done won the war when Christ done what he did on the cross amen but the little devil he tries to win some little battles here and there but we don't we ultimately don't want amen now we love y'all and uh, just thank god for you is there anybody else that needs to come pray There's a chair that waits for you And a friend who understands Everything you're going through But you keep standing at the distance In the shadow Battle's raging, you know. Who's going to stand? Many times in the Old Testament, God's people cling to ground. I remember a man in, in a lentil patch, in a bean patch. They seen the enemy coming. And all of them ran. All of his buddies, all his friends ran from him. And God blessed him to stand there alone. And God gave him the victory against a number that was inhumanly possible for him to win. That's what God wants to do in your lives. That's what God can do in our lives. But we got we to gotta stand. We got to find our place to stand. And I know there's only one place I can ever find to stand. And that's on the Word of God and the truth of God and Jesus Christ. Amen.
that all other places are sifting sands and you won't be able to stand. If you're standing in your strength, if you're standing in your own wisdom, if you're standing in your own might, if your family is standing in your own might, hey amen, you got to be like Joshua of old for me and my family. We will serve the Lord. Amen. We will serve the Lord. There's no other place you're going to stand. All other ground is sinking sand. And you'll fall. And you'll watch your family fall. You'll watch your friends fall. And you'll watch yourself fall. Because you're not on the rock. you got to be on the rock. It's coming. It's already here. It's coming. He said in the day of judgment, he's going to separate the wheat from the chaff, from the tares. In the day of judgment. Let them grow together. Day of judgment, they'll be separated. What happens to the tares, church? It's going to burn. It's going to burn. Amen. Anybody else need to pray? Come on. Wonderful message. Thank the Lord.